I had a commercial background with engineering qualifications and uh, I wanted to transfer the, the expertise and knowledge I'd gained from my then career uh, into the motorsport industry. I wanted to be in the pit lane rather than in the grandstand and I wanted to work with the, the best people in the business. Cranfield was uh, the first port of call to go and gain that experience both from a business perspective and from the engineering skill sets that were, were needed by the businesses uh, in the industry that I wanted to work for. The course provided really the grounding that I needed to come here. What Cranfield provided me was a foothold in a number of different areas at a strong enough level or at least the understanding that was a good enough baseline to then do the job that was required of me. It wasn't one thing. I worked a little bit in test and development, and electronics and software development and race engineering. And what was great about Cranfield is it, we focused on around 10 to 11 different areas. Most of those are used within the first 12 to 24 months of being here within industry. I really enjoyed the composites and the structural modules because it was hands-on experience making up a, a wing out of composites and then we ended up destroying it and testing our designs. Another part which I didn't think I would enjoy was the electronics part, but the staff in the electronics team really, really helped me and it's now a key area that I work in at Mercedes. It's a very demanding course and because it's so demanding, the employers will know that you'll be giving everything you've got the entire time and that gives you a good opportunity to get up to speed quickly and that combined with the solid technical underpinnings of the course really helps to make an employable candidate. During my time at Cranfield there are a lot of networking events where you get to meet people in the industry and motorsports and get talking to them and they can give you advice on what to do in your career and what kind of specialties you should focus on. One of the trips was to go to Silverstone Track where we got to take a Formula Ford around the track. A little bit scary but it was, it was pretty awesome and got to you to understand what it's actually like to drive the car rather than just being a spectator. The strength of Cranfield is that it has an extremely close link with industry. So even if I wasn't going to join Formula One, it has links in other areas of automotive industry that is strong enough that I could diversify and go elsewhere. And that link doesn't exist with many other universities. That's really the foundation by which Cranfield was built. With such strong links to industry, uh, Cranfield really does set itself apart from other academic institutes. The students are exposed to not just classroom theory, but also the practical element the touch points of practical experiments, working as groups on their group project, and also in combining that with their individual research thesis. So a Cranfield student is a well-rounded individual, clearly that's come from a university with great academic history and background. When I was doing my thesis work, I was investigating optimal lap time simulation, and some of the people that are, or were forefronts in that technology 15 years ago are working in Formula One now. So I got in touch. It helped inform the direction of my PhD and, and helped solidify a, a route into motorsport for real. In terms of securing a role, I think employers are definitely looking for that extra experience from somewhere. Um, and any step up you can have against other applicants is a massive advantage. And Cranfield allows you to do that whilst studying for an academic. After finishing my undergrad, decided that I really did want to pursue a motorsport career. Um, in order to do that, I decided that getting a master's would be a good option for me. And Cranfield came out as one of the top recommended universities. In the end, that's worked out quite well for me. 